Tally homie mates, my name is Smackers and welcome to a new retro let's play of the Chaos Engine for the Super Nintendo. Now, this game is a game I played as a kid a little bit, not a lot, but I played a lot. Sometime in the last century, the Baron Fortescue invented a bizarre machine called the Chaos Engine. Get a bit of backstory here. The device became incredibly powerful and turned against its creator. Its power was uh, to corrupt time and matter was out of control. A cloud of chaos descended over the land, turning humans and animals into ravening beasts. Oh my god, what a machine! Enter six hard-nailed mercenaries for hire. Okay. So this game takes place in Victorian England in a steampunk setting, which is really cool. And this game came out in 1993 as well. So it is quite old at this point. It was also on the Amiga, but it got ported to the Super Nintendo at some point. So this is a two-player game, so you can either play two players or play with one... You can... Sorry, I was just checking somewhere. So you can play as two players or you can play with yourself and a computer player. So let's go for that one because I have no friends. Start new game. Let's do it. So you get to choose six, one of six characters. Uh, each of them costs a certain amount of money. And you only have a set amount of money. Now, I don't really... I haven't played this game since I was a kid. So, this is literally uh, very new to me. Uh, in the sense of... I don't really know what I'm doing. Because as a kid, I just kind of... Oh! I nearly knocked me mic over. As a kid, I just kind of picked one and just played. But as an adult, I'm taking note of the stats. Of the money. Of the weaponry. So, as a kid, I normally played as this guy. The scientist. Or the mercenary. Because I liked the glasses. That is the reason. That is the reason I played as them. So it seems like... Uh, maybe the top one must be like... Strength. Oh, I'm looking at the stats up there in the top left, by the way. The, the hand might be strength. The heart must be life. Uh, the wings must be s character speed. I don't know what the face, the head is. What we're going to do is we're going to see about playing an all-round character. Uh, seems these two are the same price and they're all rounders. His and bottom left seems that you got a special weapon and a special ability. This guy seems to have a special bullet. This guy's a grenade. I don't quite understand, so we're just gonna go for it. It seems like the navi navi is the most expensive and and thug. So these two are the all rounders. We're gonna go for the mercenary because I played the same as a kid. Oh, and I get to select player two. Oh yeah, you have to you have to buy two characters, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the Brigand. We're going to go for the two all-round characters here. Okay, so we're in World 1, the beginning. World 1, level 1. So old style of games featured that sort of World 1, level 1, level 2, level 3, and then World 2, level 1, level 3, uh, blah, blah, blah. That sort of style. A lot of old games focused on that. Okay, wow, all right. All right, so it's a top-down sort of shoot 'em up game. Not going to be to everyone's cup of tea, of course. And this is a quite a hard game, if I recall, from my past. And uh, if I remember rightly, what you have to do is you have to destroy these, like, these things here. These nodes. These power nodes. Nope, and activate Oh, activate them, sorry. You have to destroy the things uh, covering them and then activate the nodes. Which I believe dampens the power of the chaos engine. So what we have to do is get all of those nodes activated in a level. As you can see in the top there, it says there's two left. And uh, also, the enemies seem to constantly respawn. And you can gain uh, money from each of them. The more you kill. So it seems like you are going to be able to buy power-ups in this game. Possibly. Ooh, just got to make sure... Oh, okay. <laughs> just got to make sure you don't get hit. And I'm just going to try a few different buttons here and see what was what. Nothing really going on right now, so... It must be that I have to, uh, the bottom left seems to have like a, a bar, like a, a, a like a build up bar for my special move. So I must have to like do something special to build that up. Okay. So it seems these openings in the trees as well, they spawn from there and if you kill a certain amount of them, they will stop spawning. So you can't just like grind money forever, I guess. Which is probably a good thing, because otherwise you'll just get overpowered and it wouldn't be fun. What? What did that say? Fail safe? Is that what that said? Anyway. Ooh. Special power, special power. Special power, right, okay, right. So I found a gun power up, so I'm shooting like two bullets now. And a, a special power up as well. Oh shit, I didn't see that. 
I just got damaged. I like the music as well. The music's pretty funky for an old game. Okay, so I don't really remember how hard this game can get. But I remember I didn't get far as a, in a, as a, as a kid. Ah, the last two notes are right here by the exit. Now the exit's open. I don't think there's anything else here. I don't know if there's many secrets in the levels. There probably is. It's probably like a Doom-esque thing where every level has secrets, but it gets harder and harder to find them as you go. But what is that noise? Okay, I'm just going to go. I didn't like that noise. That sounds like it might have a, like an invisible timer. Oh god, that's loud in my ears. Alright. I don't know what any of this means. So my level total is three for my main character, but the side character did fuck all. I don't know what any of that means. Please, someone explain in the comments if you know the answer. Right, level two, Mud Rivers. Let's do it. If you guys are enjoying this, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And I would uh, greatly appreciate that if you are enjoying. So it seems like we're just going to be fighting these swamp things for a little bit. Ew, don't want to get too close. Is my partner actually going to do anything, by the way? You know what, let's let him do- Okay, good, he killed someone. You can- Yeah, you take him out. Take him out for dinner. I'm assuming in- In between levels, maybe, like in between worlds, is maybe when I'll get to power up. If I get to level up at all. I don't know if that's a thing. But I'm getting money. I'm gaining money, so it's kind of indicating I will be able to power my character up a bit. Also, my health is still the same from when I got hit last. On the last level. Because I got hit once. Oh shit, what is that? What is all the things? Oh Jesus, where did he come from? So there's weird frogs. Okay, that does not surprise me considering the chaos en- Okay, I got hit again. The chaos engine is spawning really weird creatures and turning humans into creatures as well. Dude, don't just ram into him. Special power. I should probably start using my special power at some point. But I'm not sure how to use it yet, so I don't want to waste it. Okay, so we've been up there. Let's go down here. More froggies. Oh, Jesus. This is really... Ah! I'm going to die. I think one more hit and I'm dead. Ooh. Thank you. I'll take all that. Okay, I got another key there. I don't know what, th what that does. Right, I need to be extra careful now because... I don't know how to get life back. Okay, I used my special, but it didn't seem to do much. It killed one of the frogs. Right. Seems like the certain blast radius is designated by the, like, the, uh, the shards of bomb that sort of spray out. Right, these guys are quite frustrating because they jump far and I'm dead. Okay. It sends you right back. That's okay. This might be a tough game, guys. I will try my best to complete the game for you guys, though. Even if it means having to restart it a few times. And wait my way through off camera. I will do it for you guys because I love you. I love you with all my fart. The problem with old games is a lot of the power-ups and stuff, they didn't really explain... Ow. They didn't really explain very much of that. Oh, dear. I'm not doing well. Jesus. We'll do it. We'll win. Even though we're only on level 2, and I'm doing terribly, we will win! I promise you that! We will complete the froggy level, man! I don't know how to recover health, either. Now, that's the thing. I need to learn how to uh, increase my health. Because that is a thing, if I can do that. But it does seem like I would be able to do that, considering there is more bars on the right-hand side of my health. Like, next to my health. Indicating that it can level up. Now, I need to be careful here. I need to see if I can destroy that from here. Did I get it? Nope. Okay. You know what would be very... Alright. If only I knew that would happen. Okay, there's some keys over here I'm just going to grab now. But whether it'll spawn things behind me or not, I don't know. Because games like this... A game... I, I don't trust games where they put things at a dead end and then they make you turn around. What's he doing? Um, Are you okay there, mate? Are you okay? I'm just going to leave you to it then. <laughs> I guess he's okay. Oh. Uh-oh. Ow. Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. How dare you! At least my partner got the node. At least he's doing something good. 
Now, I don't know if there's any, like, any characters better than others or, or what. I'm assuming some characters would be better than other characters in this. What I find really good about this, actually, is the fact that it is, like, multi-choice character selections. And they're not just reskins. They're not just reskins. They have different characters, like, different abilities. Ugh. They do have different abilities and stats. Which is very before its time, actually. I'm going to die. One more hit and I'm dead again. And I have no more lives after this. This is probably why I didn't make it very far in this game. Oh. Okay, those little weird cylinders give me food. It says food. These frogs are the most annoying thing. Like, I could handle the level if it was just these blue guys. But the frogs? No. Oh, okay. I, this... Wait, so I can't shoot it from up here because I'm too high. But if I go here, I'm too still I'm still too high. All right, so what do I do? I can't shoot through the wall. Wait, am I meant to? Am I meant to use a bomb? Well, if I wasn't meant to do it, <laughs> oh, of course, I was meant to get that. Oh well, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I've done it now. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, he's fast. Okay. Let's just leave the level. Let's just go. All right. Whew. This is quite tricky. This is quite tricky. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Complete training. Okay, health. I want the health to go up. I've upgraded the health. Skill. I don't know what that means. Extra life. That costs a lot. But I need one, so I'll just do it. I'm going to focus on my health. I don't know if that's a good idea. But that's something I could really do. Oh, I can unlock more special powers, but I can't afford it now. Alright, that's fine. So we're going to end this video here, guys. If you are enjoying this so far, please leave a like down below and write me a comment to let me know. I'm sorry that I don't really know much about this game, but these retro series are going to be more blind than anything. Obviously, some games I would have played, but some I wouldn't have done. So the ones I've not done, I'm obviously going in blind. I mean, I could play a bit of the game first, but it's better if you guys see my legit blind... Uh, first reactions to the game. Oh, excuse me. I know I did play this game as a kid, but not that much. Oh, and I can upgrade my weapon. Pardon me as well. So again, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, the playlist for this will be in the description and for Super Bomber Man as well. Please do check the playlist out if you want to see more from me. And I'll see you all in the next video, hopefully. Bye for now. Love you all, guys.